Welcome to the vlog, fam. YouTube, what's up? Two days of training. We're basically on a, a basic push-pull. Um, I'm not squatting lately. I'm in a wedding. And I didn't want my quads to be too big for my suit. I'm already gonna look a little funny in a suit. So we focused on the deadlifts. Fill out the suit, the Armani suit with my cakes. Just kidding. But I wasn't squatting because I didn't want my quads to be too big for real. And I was just over squatting. Different goals, different strokes, different folks. So we're squatting, push, pull, deadlifting. Sorry, not squatting, push, pull, deadlifting, bench. Uh, and I want to show you guys both days. A little bit of variation involved. Pulling twice a week, benching twice a week. Back and buys on the pull day. Chest, shoulder, tries on the other day. Keep it real simple, give you an idea of how I'm training. Let's get it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then and then fix your face a little bit. You can't fix that. Like, I want to fix handsome. Can I fix your face with this? Yours right now? No, Mike's face. Is that a threat live on the internet, dude? Maybe. Is that TOS? No, but your beard looks fantastic. It really no, does. don't, don't. No, it don't, looks good. Don't. You look good. You look good. Look at that. Look at that lineup. Sharp. Jawline of a fucking granite rock stone on the Isles of Ireland. I want you to lose some of this turf. I bet you the old videos, like it shows how much further down the line it is. Oh yeah. Oh dude, yeah, if, if Seabass can really edit, we're yeah. doing a transformation Tuesday and it's Dan's beard. Yeah. <laughs> oh, the physical change is me getting fatter. Aww. Oh, wop, 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 wop. Alright, let's deadlift. Oh.
dude. Okay. You can cut it out, okay? Cut the aid. Cut that out. All right. What are you so concerned about, dude? Why do you Why do you know my dick's big? I, I, I'm not. I can't confirm nor deny. But why do you know? I live right next to him, actually. I see Kyle's dick. <laughs> he is something. I I like that people play sports. I think you get a lot of mentality from it. But some people have been in a locker room too long, a little too comfy. I, you never do that. That's all we used to do is be naked around each other. I know. I don't do that. Yeah, I don't I do that. that. I cock out around each other. Yeah, I don't do that. Yeah. No, I don't. Why not? That's like my favorite thing, actually. If, like, if it turns on, is it weird? I don't like it. I don't like it. It has nothing to do with sexuality. So is it bad? That's, that's I'm getting it. Is it bad that we used to do, uh, uh like, this is some, this is going. I don't even know if I want to say it. Like come biscuit? No, yeah. like because sometimes you turn the lights off and play. Sometimes in my mouth. there would be two, there would be not enough showers, and okay. you would you would you double up. You double up. Uh, no, you wouldn't be in the same shower, but like you. No, you just said there's not enough showers, and you double up. To me! You double up to the point where like you'd stand outside of it, and then you you'd wash your hair, then you'd step out. Yeah, I'll do that with my wife. Uh, cheers, kids. Each two, it does a body good. I'm back, man. New video. For anybody who's new, welcome. My name is Mike. I've been in strength conditioning, powerlifting, strength training, YouTube podcast for about 15 years, man. I know, you're like, how, how can he do that when he's only 18 years old? I'm not. I'm 33. But for my new viewers, what's up, man? For my old folks, what's up, fam? Um, talking over training today. I think as a lot of people start to set new goals, set new fitness routines, try to better themselves in the new year. We'll probably get some new viewership. Um, we'll probably get some older questions, re-ask, re, re and maybe I can put them out to you in a, a new, interesting, or, or a way that can connect with your brain a little bit better. The idea of overtraining is something often come up when people are talking about getting back into the gym. And the truth is, it's all horse shit. Um, you can't overtrain. It's possible, right? If we're not eating right, we're not sleeping right, we go from zero to 100, um, there's something called rhabdo that can happen, and there are some things that are not great and unhealthy that can happen from overtraining. But for the majority of us, it's not gonna happen. And by majority, I mean 90 plus percent. It's not gonna happen. Um, the truth is, is we can be out of shape and we can be not fit enough for the stimulus we're throwing at our bodies, um, but, we, but with consistency, we can adapt and overcome. Um, if you, if you haven't been lifting weights in six months and you come in and want to do 30 sets of max effort deadlifts, something bad may happen. It's just not very smart. Um, will you necessarily overtrain? Maybe not, but it's probably just not the smartest approach. We want to do the most amount of work. We want to do the least amount of work with the most amount of e efficacy. We want to get um, the most out of the least, right? So if I can get stronger, healthier, build more muscle, burn more fat by doing three sets of deadlifts, why am I going to automatically jump into 10? And the truth is our strength, our fitness, um, our conditioning, our sleep, our, our nutrition, all these things are kind of the same as, as we want to start to raise our base level, level of what we can tolerate and, and the work capacity we can handle. If you generally want to get healthier, a balance between obviously your nutrition and sleep, um, but our conditioning and, and our lifting will be key. The fact that people go out there and talk about overtraining and oh, you're working too hard is, is honestly BS. Even the highest athletes are not. I mean, think about what an NBA player puts himself through. How many games they play, how many minutes they play, how much they're running year round. Now, obviously their base level of work capacity and fitness is very, very high, but they're not dying, they're not exploding, they're not losing all this muscle just cause if, if your calories are, are, are are substantial enough, if you're eating enough calories, sleeping enough, um, we can gain muscle, we can burn fat, and we can reach all of our goals. Um, the overtraining became a thing, I think, because people expect faster progress than they're getting. To build muscle, to literally make tissue, takes time. You're not gonna see it after your first workout. You might not even see it after your 100th workout. You may not ever see it. Um, because you see yourself in the mirror and your clothes every single day, but over time, chipping away at it, it, it will happen. Um, that's why often as a coach and as a lifter myself, I prefer to have baselines and, and standardizations of my strength. Strength is something that you can gain week to week, month to month, um, and, and, and it's quantifiable, right? 
yeah, we can measure our arms and see how much muscle we gain. We can measure our waist. And even if you want to go get a scan and see how much body fat you have, you can use the scale to see how much weight you've lost or how much weight you've gained. But when we focus in on strength goals or even volume, how much work we handled in a workout, if I did three sets of eight on 225 pound bench press, next week I'm gonna to try to do four sets of eight or three sets of nine. And then after that, I'm gonna add five or 10 pounds. So then I'm gonna do three sets of eight at two, 235. Um, and these are quantifiable measurements that I can, that I can gain over time. Um, if I did three sets of eight at 225 this week, and next week I try to do 10 sets of 10 at 235, I'll probably just fail. Chances are I won't be overtrained and injured or rhabdo or anything, but I probably just won't make the progress I want. Um, slow and steady wins the race in this case. I'm, I, I hate that. I hate the rabbit. I, I hate the turtle. I hate the tortoise and I hate the hare. I think that's all BS. I think we need to be efficient and get to where we want to go. But the truth is with gaining muscle, losing fat, and even gaining strength, it is a longevity game. I hate cliches. I hate the marathon, not a sprint. Every workout should be like a sprint but our journey probably should be more like a marathon. Um, we gotta take our time, we gotta chip away at it. Seven out of 10 effort, five days a week is better out of 10 out of 10 effort, one day a week. It's just fact. The more we practice, the more we get after it, the, build, the more we build these routines and habit, the better off we'll be. Um, being sore is okay. Working out while you're sore is okay. Uh, make sure you warm up, make sure you're hydrated, make sure you're eating properly, but all these things, you're not gonna explode, fam. Um, it's gonna take a little bit of mental toughness, you know, when your legs are sore and it's already your second squat day to get that squatting done, but it, it's not gonna inhibit your performance, it's not gonna inhibit your muscle gain, it's not gonna inhibit your muscle strength. Uh, you get three, four, six, eight weeks into training consistently, you're not gonna be as sore, you're not gonna be as beat up, you're gonna be right in the groove. And that goes for any activity, yoga, running, eating. The more we do it, the more, the more we get used to it, the more we adapt to that stimulus, uh, the more we're gonna, gonna level up that stimulus and continue pushing, man. I um, just wanted to chat about that. Leave your questions below for new videos. I want to help you guys as much as I can. I've covered so much content here on YouTube and podcasts over the years. Sometimes I don't even know where to start. So ask away. I'll, I'll cover it in upcoming videos. Check back in older videos. This channel's been around seven, eight years. So thank you guys so much, man. Stay safe. New vlogs, new videos, training every single Tuesday. Salam out.